33-yard line. This is another short kick going to be taken at the 8-yard line. The 20 and a hole. He's got a blocker in front of him. And steps out of bounds in UTEP territory. They haven't blown the whistle yet, but he stepped out of bounds at the 48-yard line. We'll see where they... Two straight plays on the ground. Padron looks to throw this time. Good protection. Throwing long. Has a man open. If he can get it to him. Caught. Touchdown, SMU. Emmanuel Sanders, his fourth touchdown of the season. And the... 27-yard attempt straight up the middle. Barrett from Kennedale. He's 10 of 14 on the season. The fake, and that's not going anywhere. Kyle Peterson, the holder, is also a backup quarterback. Third and 10, though. SMU trying to get off the field defensively. A lot of time for Vitito. Has a man open one-on-one. -on -one. Intercepted. McCann. Brian McCann with another interception. His fifth of the year. Padrone with an empty backfield on first and ten. He's looking over the middle. Sanders takes the catch at the 41-yard line. We should mention Emmanuel Sanders earlier in the game is now sixth all-time in SMU history in all-purpose yards. He passes a guy by the name of Doak Walker. Padrone to McNeil with a hole. Has blockers, first down and more, breaks to the outside, try to outrun everybody. Sean Bray McNeil, look at the speed. 58-yard touchdown run from Sean Bray McNeil, and he outrun half, outran half the Miners to the end zone to give SMU the lead again. Red zone today for SMU, empty backfield for Cal Padrone. Has time, going to tuck it and run, has nobody in front of him. Will he get to the end zone? First down and goal. Knocks over the official. He'll be short of the goal line at the two-yard line. That's what... At the line, second and goal. Padrone's call. I think he's in. He is. Kyle Padrone, touchdown. Sneaks over from a yard out, and SMU goes up by two scores. Second and goal. That's more in motion. Bucker with the ball. Oh, what a lick. <laughs> Pete Fleps in. Welcome to Dallas. <laughs> toe directing traffic, maybe changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Bucker can't bounce outside. Slams to the ground by Taylor Thompson. I think Thompson has a GPS read on Bucker now on this drive. Trickeration on a punt play. This would be the time to do it. They're just going to let it go. That might go into the end zone. Bounces. Can they keep it out? It depends on where he stands. It's at the one-yard line, and that's where they're marking it. And a great job by the kick coverage team of SMU. As so Padron back at the helm on second and ten from the UTEP 30. This time McNeil with lots of room in front of him. 20, 10. Can he cut back and get in? He runs into a wall and falls forward to the one. Six seconds on the play clock. Gets it away. Option play. Going to take it himself. Will he get in? Touchdown. Kyle Padron with his second rushing touchdown of the afternoon. SMU back on top. Runner. Padron looks to throw, though. He's going for it all. Sanders. One-on-one. -on -one. Sanders makes the catch. His second in the of the afternoon, 37 yards out, SMU is back on top. And this crowd, which was silent, has suddenly sprung to life in Highland Park, Texas. To throw, looking over the middle, has time, going to tuck it and run now. No fumble, but a sack from Taylor Thompson. That was huge, and I thought I was waiting for the ball. Where he's been deadly. The rush three, puts it up, man open, knocked away. Rock Dennis with the pass broken up in the end zone. Fourth down. Win. Miners need to keep their bowl hopes alive. Vitito looking, still looking, flushed out. A little bit of a hold, no call. Vitito with all kinds of time now, still running around. He's going to be sacked! 
they needed to make a defensive stop. And yes. who did it? Taylor Thompson! I think you give him the defensive MVP. He makes the big play. 